I'm Nick Snow, watching government for Oil and Gas Journal in Washington, D.C. Heavy rain didn't dampen Western Energy Alliance members' enthusiasm the morning of May 7th as they posed for a photo on the U.S. Capitol's eastern steps during their 2013 Washington call-up. They had too many places to go and people to see. County commissioners and local business leaders had joined the approximately 65 members of the Denver-based Regional Association of Independent Oil and Gas Producers to visit federal lawmakers and regulatory agencies during their three days in Washington. They had plenty to discuss, starting with the U.S. Bureau of Land Management's plans to issue regulations for hydraulic fracturing and related operations on federal lands. Like most other U.S. producers, WEA members believe states are doing a very good job already. Start with the difference between the time it takes for states and BLM to approve drilling permit applications. An average 25 versus 307 days, suggested Tim Wigley, the association's president, later that morning. If an agency like BLM can't handle this quickly now, how will it do it with additional regulations, he asked. Michael G. Edwards, Senior Director for Investor Relations at PDC Energy, said technology has revived interest in the Wattenberg field. PDC is the second largest leaseholder there, behind Noble Energy Incorporated and Anadarko Petroleum Corporation. It's a reworked field which was heavily explored in the 1970s, he told OGJ. PDC works mostly on private land, he added. It's hard to deploy capital to federal land where there's so much uncertainty, Edwards said. WEA fully understands the surge in domestic oil and gas activity from so much more domestic resources becoming accessible also has brought exploration and production to many counties and communities for the first time. Some Colorado communities already have banned fracking, Wigley said. Now, there's talk of a 2014 ballot initiative, he continued. I don't want to think about what it would mean if it passed. Some homeowners have become concerned about what oil and gas operations might do to their property values and how they live. Edwards, who previously worked for a Los Angeles basin producer, said companies there try to blend their activities in. We need to do a better job of explaining what we do, Wigley said. Colorado is becoming the new Oregon of the Rockies. It's not purple, but solidly blue along the front range. Talking with stakeholders is important, Edwards said. It's not about advertising campaigns, but one-on-one -on -one discussions. Some of our employees' neighbors don't know people they see every day are in the oil and gas business. One-on-one -on -one visits also work with new U.S. House and Senate members. Many were on WEA members' schedules, Wigley said. That's watching government for this week. In Washington, I'm Nick Snow for Oil and Gas Journal.